how would you define communicative competence and what do you do with your students to develop it? Okay, so communicative uh, competence is something that you um, need to do in your classroom because the language is a mean and there's a tool and um, I that's very common in my lessons because you um, teaching grammar and vocabulary only is very outdated and old-fashioned and it's not interesting at all for our students so we do get the content and we use the language but we also have a goal so we try to use the language in a natural way for example with this year and this term we have decided to have a project on service learning so we went with the kids to the airport to give information to tourists about Madeira Island and for that we had to work on vocabulary specific for tourism we had to to find out much more information about the island buses you know museums what to see what to do what to, to experience and working on the language itself and in the, choosing the right tenses and the right words help them to understand it better and at the same time to provide that information for tourists so it's applied learning basically Yes, um, I do believe that a f learning a foreign language helps you to develop a for, um, that competence, intercultural competence. And when you are welcoming people from different parts of the world, you do have to deal with different ways of greeting, for example. You know, some people touch, we do touch a lot actually, but other people don't like to touch that much. The way you smile, the way you present information, the details that you give, the questions that you ask, that's also very important because at the same time I wanted my students to be aware of the world and um, um, they, they also had some questions to ask tourists namely where they were from and why were they visiting us and sometimes one of the most common reasons apart from the weather is that uh, they want to visit a different country and when, if it is different why is it that different and how can we learn from that? Well, some of them, well, they also need, they, all of them need English if they go to university. It is very popular to, uh, to go to the UK to study in, at the university, therefore English is really important. But even though if they decide to stay in Madeira or even go to Portugal mainland, English is a very important language nowadays to access information. It's everywhere, so they do recognize that English is a tool for their lives and that will if they do speak the language they will succeed and they will have many more opportunities okay so are there any special ways in which you foster that learn autonomy and help them become more proficient in a language on their own so continue learning once they have school in a yeah so more and more i tend to persuade them to use their mobile for learning so there are many apps like dictionary online and lots of games that they can play like phrasal verbs nerds and so many others that they can play the games and at the same time they learn the language so instead of playing candy crash only or any other online game they can try to use that that fun part to improve the language on the other hand i also try to to persuade them to go to online conferences on topics that they like and to chat with as many people as they can regarding their interests so that they can still improve the language and at the same time with their autonomy make it better and better Very easy. So let's start from the very beginning. The first thing is you have to understand how your student learn, learns. 
right? So some students are visual, so they need pictures when they get to words. Otherwise, reading the word doesn't make much sense. Other students are auditory, so they need to listen, to hear, to information. So reading a text only without listening to it first will be really hard to understand. Other students are so emotional and they, they fear so many things around them that you have to predict what's going to happen. So having clear routines, a very structured lesson plan, things very well organized will help them to be less anxious and therefore available to learn. If you go to practical, practical tips, I would say that the font is very important, they have friendly fonts, the color of the paper, the way you assess them, you can again you can use the apps like Present Me instead of in, making pressure on a student to do um, a speaking test in front of all the class, for example. Or you can also uh, consider the way they work together, like tutoring, you know, like pair work, group work. That also may be very important. Okay, thank you, Robert. It was very useful. Thank you so much. Thank you.